And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After three straight days with 100% possible sunshine across northeast Wisconsin, some clouds return to the area today, but temperatures still warmed up. Upper 80s to lower 90s across just about all of northeast Wisconsin. 91 in Watoma, it hit 90 in Sheboygan, and the high temperature so far in Green Bay today has been 89. And the heat and humidity is going to stick around. Let's take a look at the next seven days. Our normal high is 80. That is the highest normal high of the entire entire year here in Northeast Wisconsin, and we're going to be running five to 10 degrees above that for the next week or so. Right now we're looking at temperatures that are in the 80s to around 90 degrees across the area. It is 87 right now in Mountain. We've got 88 in Oshkosh, and it's currently 88 degrees in Fond du Lac. Even close to Lake Michigan with that gusty westerly wind, temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s. Right now in Appleton with a mixture of clouds and sunshine, it is 88 degrees in Green Bay with most Mostly cloudy skies. It is 89, but the dew point is 69. And when you combine the heat with the humidity, you get the heat index. This is what it feels like outside right now. It currently feels like 94 degrees in Green Bay. It feels like 91 in Manitowoc, and it feels like 91 in Oshkosh. Storm Shield radar showing a few scattered showers and thunderstorms developing across the area this evening, mainly to the north. As we zoom in here just a little bit closer, you can see we've had some brief heavy downpours, not a lot of lightning with these showers or possible thunderstorms. Everything is sliding off towards the south, and we'll have that chance for a hit or miss shower or thunderstorm as we head through the next several hours. Once the sun goes down, the chance for showers and thunderstorms will wind down. High pressure building in behind a cold front that's kicking off those showers and thunderstorms. South of the front today, temperatures were well up into the 90s. North of the front, we had a mixture of 70s and 80s, and that cooler weather is going to work in for tomorrow. Compared to today's highs, close to 90, we will be running about four to six degrees cooler tomorrow compared to what we saw today. You can watch that cold front move through with a few scattered showers, maybe a rumble of thunder tomorrow morning, mostly sunny skies. We'll see sunshine as we move into the early afternoon, then kind of a mixture of clouds and sunshine as we make our way through the evening. Clear skies tomorrow night, and then once again, a mixture of sun and clouds for Wednesday with temperatures remaining above normal. So tonight, maybe an early shower or storm. Many of us will stay dry and then clearing out overnight with lows in the lower 60s. Tomorrow, sun and clouds and just a little bit cooler. The humidity will be taken down a notch as well, but still humid conditions expected. High temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s. Cooler near Lake Michigan and the Bay with an easterly wind developing. 85 on Wednesday, sun and clouds. Clouds 85 on Thursday, more clouds mixing with a little bit of sunshine. Chance for some showers and thunderstorms Thursday night into Friday, especially early Friday. Then sun and clouds by the afternoon with high temperatures in the mid 80s. Back up to around 90 once again for Saturday and Sunday. Mostly sunny skies on Saturday. A chance for a shower or a thunderstorm late Sunday into Monday as another weak disturbance moves through. So really just fairly typical conditions for mid-July here in Northeast Wisconsin. Some sunshine, maybe a storm somewhere. Otherwise, uh, very warm to hot and humid. And I have to say this past weekend, yesterday was like yeah. the best weekend I've had. Since it's probably so. one of the nicest weekends so we've nice. ever had during the month of July here wow. in Northeast Wisconsin. Not a cloud in the sky, comfortable humidity, and, and the temperatures were warm enough you could get out and do exactly. anything you wanted. Exactly, and maybe yeah. we can keep it going <laughs> maybe next week. We'll see. Thanks, Cameron. Well, coming up, the Oshkosh community coming together to help the family of a four-year-old girl who was killed while riding her bike back in May.